We can simply get rid of the last name in parentheses and just put our page number like so. Now there are several different ways that you can do your lead-in. You can do according to, you can do um, stamp says or stamp state states. Um, there are several different ways that you can um, do this type of lead-in. Um, just the important thing is to make sure that you have all of the information, the author's name and the page number. Now, what if there are no page numbers. For example, if you find a web source, most of the things on the web aren't numbered by page numbers. So if you don't have a page number, then you don't give it. You don't make up page numbers or, or um, you know, try to figure out is this page one or is this page two. If there are no page numbers, then you don't have to put that information in. Also, if you are um, using a source from the web and there is no author listed, the same thing goes. If there's no author, then you can't do author attribution. However, you still need to cite the source somehow. So if there is no author for a particular piece, then you simply substitute the title. So if this were, um, if this were a website, you could um, you could just put the website title or the website address in there. So um, you could put in something like yahoo.com, amazon.com, or whatever the title of the, of the website is.